Hey, what's up fuckers? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing some more investigative journalism. Hmm, that was bad. Nah, I wish I hadn't said that. Recently on Twitter, there has been some discourse around the queer bank. Uh, which is a real thing that, for some reason, actually exists. It's a new startup called Daylight, and I am very curious about it, so I figured that we could do a little bit of digging together and answer the question, do we really need a queer bank? Let's find out. So I'm just on the front page of the website right now, and I figured we'd just scroll down it, learn as much as we can, and I'll give my thoughts on it. Because the startup is so new, their bank accounts aren't actually ready and open to the public yet, so you have to join the waitlist and get selected for their like pre-testing or whatever. I don't know. Um, so obviously I joined the waitlist. My original idea for this video was I was actually going to open up a bank account with them, and like have it for a month and just see what it was like. But unfortunately, they have not gotten back to me yet. I will say their branding is really cute. I love the yellow and pink color scheme. This is a fun little chain bracelet. Kind of looks just like, kind of just looks, wait a second. Now hold on. This bracelet looks suspiciously familiar to some jewelries that I've bought for myself uh, for drag that costs literally one dollar and is also a dog collar. <laughs> I have my like little thing that's full of all my old drag accessories. Yep. Yep. What the fuck did I say? Let me let me do the beauty guru move. Well you know what maybe if I banked with the queer bank then I'd be able to afford more than one dollar for like a fake dog collar bracelet. Oh my god, that's too good. Walk the walk. Show how queer friendly your spending is. Eat a chicken sandwich that doesn't leave a bad taste in your mouth. Nice little cheap jab at Chick-fil-A. I would love to know more about what this actually means though. Like, if I try to go to Chick-fil-A and pay with my daylight card, like, will it get declined? If the queer bank catches you eating Chick-fil-A, they just cancel your account. And then, and then they cancel you, baby. So this next image is really lovely. It's a really cool photograph. Um, don't really know what this has to do with the queer bank. The last one, they were holding the card. This one, I think they forgot to put the card in it. Get paid early. Connect your paycheck and we'll advance you two days early. I don't fully understand what the appeal is here. If I get paid on the 15th of every month, but Daylight says, oh, we'll pay you on the 13th. Okay, great. Now I just get paid on the 13th every month, and I still have to wait an entire month between paychecks. So like, what is, what is the benefit here? It's, it feels very arbitrary. Well, this is nice. That's a nice picture. Not really sure what that has to do with the, the bank. Well, he's, he's queer, that's for sure. So you got the queer part of the queer bank. Missing the bank part. That's okay. Reward- stop. <sighs> God damn it. Ooh, I can't wait to get a sickening loan and get some fabulous hunty mama work credit card debt. Oh, crrr. I'm gonna take out a second mortgage. That was even worse than the first one. Ugh. Get up to 10% cash back for spending at queer bars and LGBTQ allied businesses. Like, uh, like Allison's Bakery. Yeah, great. All jokes aside, this I actually really do like. Um, and this is one of the reasons that I did want to, like, open up one of these accounts for real and do an experiment with it, because let me tell you, the drinks at the gay bars, they're, like, they're getting expensive nowadays. And it's not their fault, they're recovering from COVID, like, I get it, happy to pay. But, uh, if I get 10% of that back, like, alright, I like this. I like this look, this queen. You'd think that one of these people would be holding the card, but hey, that's neither here nor there. Hashtag call me by my name. Get your chosen name on your card regardless of what your legal ID says. All right, that's also really great. This way you could have your name be on your card without having to go through all the trouble and legal processes of getting it changed on everything else. I gotta say, I'm starting to understand the value of having a queer bank. Oh my god, I was not expecting to be team queer bank. Okay, I mean, we gotta keep reading to get the full T, but uh, wow, how interesting. Oh, there's another card. No hidden fees and free ATMs in network. 
All right, so this I am skeptical of because as we learned with Klarna, anytime a bank tells you there are no hidden fees, they are lying. Save more than $300 per year. On what? Compared to, to who? I don't know. I would I would love to see this, this source cited. Pay it forward. More like gay it forward. <laughs> God damn it. Daylight, more like gay light. I gotta stop, dude. Daylight will donate to- fuck, dude, I gotta stop. Daylight will donate $10 to charities for every eligible sign-up. I made a video recently about Chipotle and how companies like that will donate to charities in order to get tax breaks, and I'm not gonna go into that whole spiel again right now, but I'm just saying that's the reason that I'm like skeptical of this. Bank with a company that cares about the community as much as you do. So not at all. I'm just kidding. Could you imagine? They seem like very good friends. How nice. I love to see friendship like this represented. Beef up your savings. But it's a picture of a pig and the pun is beef up. All right. Put your savings on autopilot with roundups. We've got tools that make it easy to save for and secure your future. Right. It's a bank and you can open a savings account with them. Here's one. Here we go. Finally, we have a card and a face. And of course it's a muscle gay. Boo, we hate those now, I think, right? I don't know. Safe and secure. Your money is FDIC. Hold on, <laughs> let me go ahead and do a little one of these. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Sure, why not? Your money is FDIC insured and safe with us and will never out or dead name you. All right, thanks. <laughs> Why would your bank out you? Like imagine you overdraft your bank account and like instead of charging you a fee, your bank calls your parents and tells them you're gay. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> so fucked up. Has featured in Forbes. All right, that's impressive. Daylight is building a new way to bank for the LGBT community, one that's never been seen before. Well, they haven't really started yet, have they? I mean, I guess there's early access, but other than those few people, like, no one has a bank account with them yet. So, I don't know, this review feels a little bit inauthentic. Many companies say they support the queer community, but actually invest in projects and politicians that work against you and your chosen family. Spend with purpose by joining Daylight today. Well, that's very comforting to know that this company would never donate to any anti-LGBT politicians and that they would never partner with another company who has a history of donating to anti-LGBT politicians. Uh, so thank God that that is not a thing that has happened. The Daylight Visa prepaid card is issued by Metabank. Oh wow, here's some information about Metabank. It turns out that they have a pack. I wonder what type of political candidates they're giving money to. Oh, 100% Republican? Fascinating. Well, I'm sure it's one of the good Republicans, you know? It's it's not someone who's actively preaching homophobic hatred. Like, let's just, I don't know, the first guy who they've donated the most money to, Vernon Buchanan. Representative Buchanan paying for misleading anti-gay mailers with tax dollars. Today, the Human Rights Campaign, the nation's largest lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender civil rights organization, condemned Representative Verne Buchanan for using taxpayer dollars to distribute a misleading anti-gay mailer to his constituents. But hey, I mean, at least Daylight doesn't let you eat a Chick-fil-A. Okay, honestly, I do need to confess that I am being really unfair to Daylight right now. Uh, I just wanted to have that little like gotcha moment because uh, I thought that, that would be like sassy and sexy and fun. So first of all, I was being dishonest when I showed you this information about them donating to 100% Republicans as this is only in the 2017-2018 cycle. If I scroll up, I can actually click, I can go to 2020, a more recent year, and you can see that they actually donated to both parties. It is still majority Republican, but if you actually look at the numbers, it's $10,000 total. I just did a quick Google search for Metabank and it turns out they are worth $5 billion. $10,000 in an entire election cycle is not very much money to them. We can also go back to this website and search up any other packs that we want to. So for instance, I'm gonna look up 
my bank, which is Chase. You scroll down, you can see that they donated $600,000 total. And again, over half of it went to Republicans. Obviously, as a brand new upstart, they need to partner with an established bank to distribute their cards for them. You know what? Find me an established bank in America that has zero connections to the Republican Party. If the option is go with the bank that donated $300,000 to Republicans versus the one that only donated 10,000, I think the choice is obvious. So hopefully that explains why I'm not bothered by their decision to partner with MetaBank. Uh, the only thing that bothers me is the hypocrisy. I think it's better to be upfront than to get caught in a lie, you know? On average, banks charge more than $300 in fees per account per year based on Bank Fee Finder 2017 report. Oh, okay, so that, remember earlier, I was like, where did they get the $300 from? And this is where. That's cool, they actually cited their sources. Was not expecting that. Bank Fee Finder April 2017 reports. Sure. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I, I trust them. This is bad investigating, but it's investigating. Like, of course it's gonna be bad. Daylight will donate $10 for each new user who signs up between June 1st and September 15th, 2021, and connects their paycheck before December 31st, 2021. I was kind of hoping for information about what charities they were going to be donating to. I guess that remains a mystery. I mean, let's be honest, it's probably the Trevor Project or GLAAD. That's all companies ever donate to. Why you need queer banking? We created Daylight to be the only bank account that rewards LGBTQ plus folks for spending in line with their values. Our commitment is to not only provide you with great banking services, but to help you align your spending with your values. That means when you bank with Daylight, you don't have to worry about accidentally supporting anti-LGBTQ plus or anti-trans initiatives. Chick-fil-A, anyone? <laughs> Another sick dig at Chick-fil-A. I feel like they keep saying this, but I want to know what it literally means. If I go to Chick-fil-A and try to swipe a daylight card, will it decline the card? That's what I want to know. That's the experiment I want to do if they ever get back to me and let me open an account with them. Better for you. With Daylight, you can stop worrying about whether you're doing the right thing with your spending and with your money with your spending and your money? Wow, both. <laughs> Financial education and live coaches that can help you manage your finances better. We offer guides relevant to queer folks, including information on surrogacies, negotiating your salary, paying down debt, and finding financing that meets your needs. I do not trust anyone who does not use the Oxford comma, but that's not relevant. What I was gonna say is offering like finance guides to like help you manage your money for free, is a really cool idea. Each month we'll send you a personalized spending report that shows you how queer friendly your shop- Oh my god, we get it! You're gonna fucking not let us eat a Chick-fil-A. The more queer friendly you are, the better rewards we'll offer. Easy. Eat that chicken sandwich without leaving me eating chicken. Shut the fuck up, we get it. There are other scandalous homophobic brands Aside from Chick-fil-A, you don't have to keep making the same joke over and over, baby. Go for like Hobby Lobby. That's a good one. Or uh, Samsung. I mean, that commercial they just released with Todrick, that felt homophobic to me. Say goodbye to overdraft fees and say hello, paycheck advance. Whether you've overspent on a fab new outfit this month, Mm, hold on, I don't like this. Not to be getting like offended over a little joke, but it almost sounds like they're encouraging people to overdraft their accounts based on things that aren't necessary, and I don't know if that's something that I want to hear from my bank, to be honest. We'll advance you up to $200 each month to cover essential costs like hormone treatment, healthcare, or those Gaga tickets that'll sell out before payday hunty ooh yes gaga put your paws up not gonna lie queer bank is starting to lose me a little bit okay so the rest of this page is kind of just reiterating what we already read on the first page i'm not really seeing anything oh wait hold on <gasps> triggered. Okay, wait, this actually is really interesting. Uh, get discounts when you shop at big retailers. You can get cash back when using our network of around 10,000 retailers. 10,000? 10, That's a lot of connections for a startup. 
I wonder if that all came through MetaBank. From Chipotle, of course, to DoorDash. And when you do, we'll also channel 25% of your discount to LGBTQ plus mutual aid funds. Oh, down here is a list of charities that they support. For the Gwarls, Point of Pride HRT Fund. Okay, so I was wrong to assume that it was just going to be the Trevor Project and GLAAD. My apologies to Daylight. These are some good good, fun, sexy charities that, and I'm glad that you're choosing them. This is another thing that jumped out at me. Simplified access to prep directly within the app. Now, I don't know exactly how that's gonna work, but that's another genuinely cool feature. And then the last thing on this page is, what are you waiting for? Join today. Yeah, that's cute, but I tried already. I tried two weeks ago. What are you waiting for? Okay, the last thing I want to do is just go through the FAQ and see if there's anything that jumps out. Why is an LGBT banking platform necessary? Fucking finally. Our community has one trillion dollars spending power? Really? I would like to see the source for that, but a trillion dollars in spending power. Fascinating. The gay is too powerful. And yet 53% of LGBT plus people struggle to maintain regular savings. That's High key unacceptable. Oh, we are done letting the system ignore us. We are building daylight around our unique needs, different timelines, different kinds of families, different goals, and different futures. So that's a nothing sentence to me. That's kind of just a hollow reiteration of like, yeah, we are a queer. Why do you need a queer bank? Well, because we are a bank and we're queer. Like, okay, yeah, but answer the question, you know? Oh, this is interesting. Uh, it looks like every single person on the Daylight staff identifies as LGBT+. Do you have physical locations? We are a mobile-first banking platform, which means that we don't currently operate branches. This means that you can stay COVID safe and open an account without having to go to a brand in person. Now, hold on. I was talking to my roommate about how I was gonna make this video, and he said that he heard of Daylight because they were sponsoring an event that he went to. So don't give me all the, ooh, we're not doing anything in person because we're being COVID safe. You are literally hosting and sponsoring in-person events. So shut up. Can I use Daylight if I'm not part of the LGBT plus community? <laughs> what if this just said no? <laughs> Absolutely. Think of it like going to a gay bar. You can party with us, but you'll find there's a lot more Madonna and Kylie than you're used to. One caveat, we're building safe space for LGBT plus people to manage their money, so don't be a dick. Harsh language from a bank. Wow. <laughs> you're a bank. We're not friends. You're not my, like, sassy gay friend who's saying, ooh, girl, don't be a dick. What? Come on. Put on a suit and a tie. You're a bank. How do I get an account? All right, this is what I want to know. You can join our waitlist. Fuck. I'm trans slash non-binary. Will my card use my dead name? Famously, no. No. It's not cool to dead name people, especially when it's your bank. What? Yeah, I've just been having a rough day. I got dead named earlier, which like usually wouldn't be that big of a deal, but like it was by my bank. So it just hurt that much more. <laughs> when you join, you will have the option to customize your card with your preferred name, even if it doesn't match your identity documents. There is no cost to that when you join. Having a card with your name on it while still being dead named in other areas isn't cool. No way, we would never do that. We would never ever dead name you. Um, side note though, we will need to collect your legal name during the onboarding process for security and verification purposes. Uh, but that'll be the only time you'll have to use it, so, you know. We will dead name you once. Um, we are actively telling you that we will dead name you once, but only the one time. Come on, like, and I get it, I get it. It's for legal purposes. There's no way around it. It's not their fault, but don't be annoying about it. You know, like if you're gonna get caught in the lie straight up, like don't be shitty. Don't be fucking annoying about it. That's all I want. What fees do you charge? Everyone hates when they get surprise fees from their bank. So we're committed to full transparency about any fees ahead of time. Okay, that's, I think that's fair. No monthly usage fee, no physical card fee. Your first in-network ATM withdrawal every calendar month is free. And then there's a 57 cent fee for every withdrawal after that. 
Hold on. No hidden fees and free ATMs in network. So I guess that is technically true because once a month you do get to use an ATM for free. Then after that, you literally do get nickel and dimed. So come on, full transparency I thought we were doing. What is financial coaching? How is it different from financial advisory? Financial coaches are like having a life coach for your money. They focus on your relationship with your money and how to improve your money managing habits. Financial advisors are regulated by each state and can help you manage your assets and investment. Okay, so the difference between a financial coach and a financial advisor is that a financial advisor is a real job and a financial coach is just a guy who's just gonna like cheer you on. Woohoo! How do you find financial coaches? We vet our coaches through a three-step process, understanding their existing client base, understanding their LGBT expertise, and our CEO even does a session with each coach to make sure they get it. So they... So they interview people. A lot of words to say nothing. How do I book a session with a financial coach? Apparently, you do have to pay for the financial coach. For some reason, I thought that part of being in this network was that it was provided to you for free, which I guess was naive of me to think. Obviously, you have to pay people for their time. I just kind of thought the daylight was covering that. How do I change my assigned financial coach? For now, we only offer Kenny Day. <laughs> Sorry. For now, we only offer Kenny Davis as our financial coach, but we'll be rolling out more coaches as we grow. Oh my god. Wow, I, maybe I was wrong. That uh, vetting process must be way more rigorous than I realized. Only Kenny Davis was able to pass. Wow, what a ledge. Is my information safe with my financial coach? I mean, yeah, I mean, I think Kenny Davis is pretty trustworthy. I would trust that man with my life. He would never out me or dead name me. It, that because it would be especially not cool coming from him. What do I do if I'm being bullied or harassed? We have a zero tolerance policy for bullying and harassment. Okay, well there goes my chance at getting approved for one of these accounts. Okay, that's the end of the FAQ section. That's as far as we're gonna be able to get without actually opening up one of these bank accounts, which unfortunately it seems like I might have burned that bridge. Final thoughts. To be completely honest, I know I've been like clowning on this a little bit, but that's only because that's just my sense of humor. I'm just kind of naturally an asshole, but I'm not ruling this out. I think this has the potential to be really, really great. I'm not endorsing it because obviously I haven't used it, uh, but I do think that it shows a lot of promise and I think there are some genuinely good, exciting features. Really the only thing that I don't like about it is just kind of the, the attitude. It feels very self-righteous when they say that stuff like, oh, spend your money in the right place. Like, we won't let you support a anti-queer establishment or whatever. And meanwhile, that turned out to be hypocritical and it's just, that kind of rubs me the wrong way. But that, that really has nothing to do with the actual service itself. In conclusion, if you are interested in joining Daylight the Queer Bank, then you might as well join the waitlist and see what happens, you know? You, maybe you'll have better luck than me. <laughs> if you do though, if anyone is able to successfully open one of these accounts, please let me know. And we will do some more investigative journalism together. Ooh, I need to go to sleep. Thank you so much for watching this entire video. I feel like this one is going to be long and boring, but uh, if you stuck it out, thanks so much. I appreciate the fuck out of you, dude. Like, you have no idea. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more gay bullshit. And if you've made it this far, let me know by leaving a comment with the word gay just jammed into any word that you please. Can be the shittiest pun in the world works for me, and I'll steal it and use it in the next video, probably. And, um... That's it.